What's up, guys, and welcome back to Moonshot Money, where we're earning more, saving more, investing more, and giving much more. Recently, we've had some private questions and public questions, too, about dividend and income stocks for cash flow. And we're going to give you some red hot information today. Most of this info is coming from our dad Mike's portfolio and sharing with you what he's doing now to maximize his future retirement cash flow. You can retire earlier than you actually think. I'm Chase and this is the Moonshot Money Channel. Are you ready? Let's go. First, let me say that we're not financial advisors, and this is just for entertainment purposes only. Please always do your own due diligence. If you're looking for some sweet, sweet passive cash flow that dividends bring, most people look to dividend aristocrats or just rock solid companies that are paying two and a half to maybe 5% dividends yearly. Here's a little known secret that will blow your mind. If you want to double, triple, even quadruple that cash flow, you need to look at covered call ETFs. That may sound a little foreign to you, but we have a video on this channel about covered calls. You'll definitely want to check that out. Covered call ETFs are a relatively new kind of investment, but they are really beginning to pick up a lot of momentum. Here's how they work. The funds buy a basket of stocks and then sell monthly near the stock price, call options on those stocks. The options are sold every single month and the premiums, not dividends, are passed on to the investors in the form of income. The benefits are enormous. The yields these covered call ETFs are paying range from 7% to 12%. Here's another wonderful benefit. They pay their yields monthly instead of quarterly, which will be such a blessing if you're going to live off these passive incomes and dividends. Okay, Chase, what's the drawback? There has to be a catch here. Well, the biggest hiccup is the lack of price appreciation. If you look at one to five year charge, you're not going to see very much growth at all. Some investors would rather invest in growth and then roll that over into high yield dividends when they're ready to retire. And that's definitely okay too. There's no right or wrong here. Covered call ETFs are straight up passive income cash cows. That's it. These investments are generated more towards investors who are older and looking to build income for retirement. If you're younger like me and my brother Isaac, you will probably do a lot better trying to grow your net worth by investing in innovation. Our dad has already done that. Now he's building passive income. Dividend investing can be boring and discouraging when you only see a small quarterly payment from a company like, say, J.P. Morgan Chase. Covered call ETFs, though, are anything but boring with their sweet monthly premium incomes. You might even consider buying these to be addictive. If you're seeing $25 a month, you'll want to get that to $50 a month and then to $100 and so on. For those of you who are, say, 50 years and older, covered call ETFs are a powerful tool to prepare you for retirement. If you're still with me here and you're excited to find out more, let's take a look at three amazing investment vehicles to provide as much monthly income as possible, as safely as possible. Here are the three funds that our dad Mike is buying right now. QYLD, JEPI, and NUSI. These three are by far the most popular among several covered call ETFs, with QILD being the largest. QILD is the NASDAQ 100 covered call ETF, and as of this filming, it has a current yield of 11.8%. Wow. JEPI is the JP Morgan Equity Premium Income ETF, and it has a current yield of 8.3%. We'll explain the reason for the smaller yield in just a moment. There is a reason. NUSI is the Nationwide Risk Management Income ETF, and it has a yield of 7.51%. Again, there's a reason for the difference that you will be interested in. If you look at the premium yield only, QILD is hands down the favorite by mile. But, and this is pretty important, JEPI and NUSI both offer different kinds of downside protection. So you're paying for some swan. Sleep well at night. QILD is passively managed, while JP Morgan and Nationwide's ETFs are both actively managed. So you're paying for that as well. The difference between passively and actively managed would be like buying into the S&P 500 versus buying into, say, the ARK Invest Fund that's tweaked every single day. QILD merely holds a basket of NASDAQ 100 companies. 
Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Alphabet, and more, and sells monthly covered calls and collects the premiums. That's it. JP Morgan somewhat protects your money with something called equity linked notes. These are basically a fixed income investment that's connected to an equity investment. These ELN holdings make up about 15% of JEPI's holdings, and this is where you get some downside protection. NUSI does something different to protect your capital. With the covered calls, they also buy protective put options. If that sounds like Greek to you, just know the put options are a safety net in case the market crashes. These two, JEPI and NUSI, offer you some downside protection, and that's why their premium yields are so much smaller than QILD. If you are a stock picker and you're used to not having any downside safety, it probably won't bother you at all to own QILD. It doesn't bother our dad, but he's also buying the other two as well. Plus, blue chip stocks and dividend aristocrats. Listen, at 8.3 and 7.51%, these are amazing premium yields. Companies like JP Morgan's 2.3% dividend and say Johnson & Johnson's 2.55% dividend, you're more than tripling your cash flow using a basket of stocks and covered calls. All three of these have an expense ratio attached to them. QILD is 0.6%, JEPI is 0.35%, and NUSI is 0.68%. We still have more info to come, but don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a like and help push this information to more people. Thanks in advance. This video is not comprehensive, but merely something to get you interested. Please make sure that you keep studying these covered calls if you're intrigued. What does this mean in real life? Let's do some math here. Let's say you want to make $1,000 per week in retirement from these premium yields. That's $52,000 a year. So how many shares of QYLD would you need to make this happen? The current price is $22.76 per share. So $22.76 times 11.8% equals $2.69 per year per share or $0.22 cents income per month per share. $52,000 a year divided by 12 months equals $4,333.33 per month. That monthly income amount divided by 22 cents equals 19,696.97 shares. That many shares times $22.76 will cost you, are you ready? $448,303.03. Yes, that's a big number, but very attainable for those savers among us. I dare say that some of you are already there or you're well on your way. Let's compare those numbers to the dividends that JP Morgan would pay us. How much money would we need to invest in JP Morgan to make $52,000 per year in dividends? At $160.33 per share, yielding 2.3% in dividends, we would receive $3.69 per year per share or $0.31 cents per month. The math tells us in order to receive $52,000 per year, we would need to own 14,092 shares of JP Morgan. So we would need to invest, are you ready? $2,259,370.36. So $448,303 versus over $2.2 million. That puts us in a position to need an additional $1.8 plus million dollars. I think this goes without saying that most of us would actually have a difficult time saving two and a quarter million dollars. But most of us have a really good chance of saving $450,000. Now, $52,000 per year is probably not enough, but if you connect that with Social Security, rental property income, drawing down your growth portfolio by three to four percent per year, and you've got plenty of great retirement in front of you, doesn't that motivate you to save and invest as much as you possibly can now? I know it sure does for me and Isaac. I'm not planning on waiting till I'm 62 or 65 to retire. I plan on doing it much sooner, and Isaac has a far greater shot of beating me to that because he got started much sooner than I did. Study these covered call ETFs some more and see what you think. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. We try to make videos like this weekly to help you grow your money and get to that wonderful place place of financial independence as soon as you possibly can. Have a great rest of your day, everyone, and we'll see you on the moon.